I've got about one and three quarter yard of this stuff. It costs $70 for this. It's got rocks in it, that's annoying. It is soil. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do, what I plan to do with this stuff. So I've got these low spots around here where I, I kind of tore it up and built this patio. So I need to fill in this gap right here with soil and I need to fill in the gap over there with soil and the huge ruts that I made with the, the loader. So I've got the topsoil. I'm just gonna kind of feather it out right here. I'm gonna need several of these wagon loads to make this work to fill in this area, probably six or eight. So now that I've got a couple of piles spread out over there, I need to get my landscape rake. Knock down the piles and spread it out. Make it smooth. Quick update on the shed. So nothing much has happened, but I did put the fascia on. That's pretty much it. Put the blue board on and put some of the sticker boards on or the rain screen. And then I got the fascia on. And that was tough because I had to stain, stain the fascia or stain the one by 10 cedar boards and then the two by six cedar boards and then cut them and put them all up and screw them. So that was quite a bit of work. Next thing for the she shed will be to do, let's see, the soffit. So I'm gonna put Gorman pine tongue and groove soffit on there. And so I gotta get it and that's gonna come in a couple days. Then I've gotta stain it and then it goes up. So. I just wanna stain everything first so I don't have to stain it while it's up. I'll just do a little bit of touch up with the brush. Now I got this landscape right here and I'm gonna knock down these piles and spread out this dirt. So the plan for this area is to put this topsoil down and then put some seed down. Kinda of get it rolled out, flattened down, then put seed on it. Uh, four wheeler can pull this thing. Oh, yeah. So I need to, need to keep working it and leveling it up. I'm gonna have to put some water on there so I can compact it down. But I, I just want it flush to the concrete. This is where sand would work very well, but I don't really wanna grow the grass in straight sand. a little bit too much dirt here so I'm just kind of pulling it into this section right here which I know this is a low section the water kind of always pools here the water used to always pool right here on the 
this walkway so I'm trying to make sure I leave it low here so it can continue to flow this direction this is downhill here high end over here low end over there high end over there low end over there I know it looks flat but it actually slopes like this there are some big ruts right here and I need to put probably at least half of that soil over here to kind of bring this up and fix this area. So the lawn looks really bad right now. I've got a lot of ryegrass or poa. I'm not sure. I think it's ryegrass. Um, you can see all these little splotchy or, or uh, bunchy bunches all around. See all these different colors in the lawn. It is not good, folks. I am not going to sit here and say that it looks awesome because it really kind of doesn't. You can see these these yellowing bunches of grass here. That's where I came up with the secret uh, grass killer stuff with the paintbrush. Did that on Monday. Today is Friday. Let's continue on with this project and just keep breaking it. Just keep working it and working it and working it. I need to move this sprinkler head over here this direction as you see it's spraying into the street. So I need to measure about how far it's reaching into the street and move it th that much this direction. I was hoping I could get it to reach all the way over to this corner so I can do like a 270 here and all the way to there. I don't think that's going to work but maybe. So I think at 8 feet will do it. I think it'll be safe if I move it 8 feet. Ooh, that's not good. So eight feet is only to here. So it gives me another two feet. Maybe I could change the head on there and maybe make, he, maybe make it shoot just a little bit further, but I don't really want to do that. So that'll be the next thing I need to do is dig up that line, that sprinkler head and move it over here. Eventually the plan with this flower bed is to recut it. So we'll match up with the line of this concrete here. Here comes the guy that got the Elsinore. So this is the dude that's getting the Elsinore, remember? It was about, what, a year ago? Yeah. You were riding that Elsinore and I told him that he just needed to wait a month or two and he'd, he'd get it. And lo and behold, he is getting it. Hold the phone, hold the phone, hold the phone. Cut it, cut it, cut it. I can't. Whose is this? Yeah, the shit had. Yeah, I know. So is that like a 74? Yeah. For I real? I want it. What? I want it. Okay, go buy it from him. He won't let me. Yeah, he sells everything. He won't let me. He'll buy, he'll sell it to you in like a month. He okay. only keeps things for like a month. Okay, I'll wait for the month then. So what we got here, a 1974 Honda? Goldwing or? No, no, no. Elsinore. Elsinore. 74 Honda Elsinore. Ooh, two look how beautiful. Two fifty. It's a two-stroke. Yeah. Oh, it's that thing's a fourteen hundred miles, all original. That thing's a beaut, folks. What did he pay? I don't know. What you didn't ask him? I don't know. Come on. He won't tell me. They sell for about three grand. I'm Have you got it go yet? I'm gonna pick it up right now. Oh, he's gonna go get it. So I, we gotta go over there. I will bring it over here as soon as I. So get wait a minute. Are you gonna put it in the truck? No, my kid's coming down, so I can ride it to my cabin. Oh. So he's just going to ride it over to his cabin. So it was a year ago, Memorial weekend, and he did some trade work with the neighbor and painted his uh, school bus, a bright orange red or something like that. All right, guys, so he got the motorcycle. It's all his now. So look at that smile on his face. He's so we happy. Like we like it. Yeah, you love it, don't we you? We like it. Son of a jealous too. Oh, yeah, I'm it's jealous. It's the first one he went to back in the shop. What are you gonna do with it? Gonna go polish it and park it. He says he's gonna polish it and park it, folks. So polish what kind it. of bike is it again? It is a Honda 250 Elsinore. Honda Two 250. Two years they made them. Two years only. This is the beginning of the Enduro motorcycles. This is what set the standard for dirt bikes back in the day. A 74, 74. right? 74. 1974. So this is a two-stroke, right? Yes. Yeah. And this would have stayed as the number one thing if the Yamaha came out with the monoshock. 
Oh! Now that, folks, is a beaut. See the smile on his face? He's happy. He got his bike, and it only took a year. And I yeah, told I you, I told you that he was gonna let it go. That dude sells everything. A year, and I got it. Yeah, a year later, and he's got it. So this dude, oh, the neighbor, he sells everything. So if you think you want I something, got it. just gotta wait. Goodbye. See you later. Goodbye. So I'm working on this project. I've got the skid steer here, and kind of just kind of leveling out the the. Uh, dirt here. I remembered that I've got a sprinkler to fix here and a sprinkler to fix here. So that, ooh, yeah, that's not good. So I got to fix those before I can do anything else or go any further. But I'm just trying to level this out as best I can. And then I'll come out over here with the rake and my uh, drag. If I can get that thing back from good old James, James Lewis. So yeah, that's what we got going on. He's happy he got his motorcycle. I'm happy because I'm working on my uh, project here. So that's, that's good stuff, folks. I ended up uh, spending the rest of my night working with the skid steer on this section, moving dirt around. As for this area over here, it needs quite a bit more work, but it ran out of daylight and I was working with the skid steer. So kind of secretly hoping that maybe tomorrow I can plant the grass here. I don't know. That's going to have to wrap it up for this video. Um, just time kind of got away with from me and I had the opportunity to use the skid steer so I took it. So